Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So awesome to be back guys. I've been on holiday or on leave for a week. <laughs> and uh, yes, nice and refreshed and also uh, good to be back and just making some videos and stuff you know and uh, yeah so welcome to my channel if this is your first time just hit that subscribe and the like <laughs> don't think about it guys just do it man <laughs> good man um yeah today we've got some interesting stuff to do um i'm going to show you how to um actually work with um global company mod into your map but you can you can actually mod it and put it into your map legally so i'm going to show you how to do that and how to uh, just do the whole thing so let's get stuck in man <laughs> good to be back guys really good great so uh, that was just an intro picture so obviously we first want to quickly have a look at i'm gonna um, use this um, uh, brewery as a example you can use any of the global company mods um, and you can download any of these so there it is i will put this one in the in the description for you if you want to use this one particularly but um yeah i'm going to use this one so first of all download it obviously drop it into your mods folder there the next thing to do is on your desktop or anywhere you want create a temp folder open the open the zip file that you've downloaded um the brewery there it is and then once it's open i just want to wait for this annoying little message um, select everything extract it oh, just like this and then drop it into your temp folder on the desktop so I'm gonna go desktop here go to my temp folder just have it open here I've already extracted it there or, or just zipped it out and then just drag it over there into the temp folder like so and then once it's done you've got the mod there so we're gonna work with this a bit later on but like I always say guys, the first thing you want to do is make sure your mod works. Now in order to do that, just drop the mod into your mods folder like we've already done. And open a new game in Farming Simulator. I just want to go to my Farming Simulator. And then once you're in the game, uh, test the mod guys. Make sure everything on it works right in its zip format as it's intended to work. You know, That is the right way to do it. So here we are in the game right. there you go that's better just want to put my volume down a bit it is a bit dry for me good all right so open a new game let's I'm go into uh, new farmer mode let's go ravenport is fine continue and then make sure you have the global company script in your mods folder as well as well as the beer thing where is it uh, brewery there it is okay so i'm gonna just leave it like that and i just want to take course play off because um, yeah it's a huge thing to run with course play and there you go so once you've started the the game or the map rather with the mod the next thing we're going to do is um, just actually buy it and test it and you can run through your um your log to make sure the mod doesn't throw any errors i have checked it this one is fine i haven't seen any problems so here we go here we go here we go so we don't want to do any tutorials all right first things first let's just get some bucks um you can't do anything without money these days so let's just drop a few bucks into the account like so purchase some land because uh, obviously um that is going to be um needing a fair amount of space to place you know let's go there uh oh, we don't want to go visit oh, we just want to drop there there you go so let's run to the land which is on this side field number 12 we've just bought it um let us just uh get rid of this field um sit ground cultivator like so all right and then we purchase into the mods and under global company you should find it there uh, details and just place the mod anywhere we just want to make sure everything works guy that guys that is the very first thing you must make sure of if there's any problem with the mod it's no point trying to build it into your map and <laughs> spend all hours positioning it and getting it ready and then oh you've got problems <laughs> and then you don't know if the, if the original thing works you know <laughs> that type of stuff so here we are let's just buy some vehicles um we want to obviously tip some um 
some grain into the thingamabobby and we also need a tractor for that okay oh my gosh I forgot uh, I need to put it here uh, I don't want to go and drive all the way here so let us just re rebuy everything <laughs> let's do the tractor okay okay that sounded good and then obviously a trailer we'll need a trailer Ah, any trailer will do bye okay so here we are right we've got a tractor and a trailer and what we want to do now is just make sure the factory works Thank you. a good idea always with global company is to watch uh, in the global company control panel if there's any problems there it will show you errors there if there is problems with the mod itself if, if global company recognizes the mod so alt uh, is it i think it's alt it's shift control g sorry control g there it is active factories raw materials final product it doesn't seem to have a problem so what you're going to do is just enter on it it's disabled because there's nothing in it it says we need uh, um, it's going to give you 75 percent beer on whatever you put in there now i'm sure um this thing takes wheat i have tested it but let's just fill it fill our trailer with some wheat there you go it's full of wheat dump it into the um into the little dump spot there you go and what we should have now Keep on dumping it. Just a moment to switch off the tractor. The trailer stopped dumping, and then you can see immediately the factory is working. The pallet of beer is coming out. There's already a keg on it, so we're gonna just wait for this thing to finish dipping. And here we go. It's got 30, 31 percent, 0.31 percent um, on this keg. So it's busy filling it. There you go. So it looks like the whole factory is working. I'm happy with that. So, now that we, we, we have established that there's no problems with the mod, we can uh, happily uh, build it into our map. Right, guys, so after you've saved the game, may, uh, make a mental note of the slot of save game you used. Mine, in my instance, was 5. We'll use that a bit later on. Um, the, the folder that you've um, created where you unzip the mod, this is all just temporary stuff uh, guys so you're not going to really be using this as such um, for the for the actual map so what we're going to do you take that folder uh, you can uh, cut it let me just see control x or cut in my case go to your map folder in my case i'm going to use the wild it's one of my maps i'll add a link into the description if you would like to play that similar to no man's land uh, just a better map <laughs> in my opinion guys <laughs> if you catch my drift anyways uh placeables will be under um, where did i put my placeables in this thing doesn't matter anywhere in your in your um in your map folder just put it in there so when you import it it just reference out of your map folder you know so it doesn't matter all right, so there's a temp folder there now. So what we're going to do, you open the map, your map i3d, where you want to use the mod in. And then we're going to go into file and then import, obviously. And we're going to go to the actual uh, mods, the actual map, the temp folder in there, uh, the wild maps, and then temp. And then you're going to import the brewery into your map there it is right all this guys is just all temporary stuff you know so what we're going to do is um i'm going to find a spot where it's nice and flat i think they should do and we're going to go control b place it into the map now in your case guys you find the spot where you actually want to build this thing into your map and you level it nicely and you make it nice um, exactly as you want it and then you do the same you 
place the factory there. So all we actually want here is just that coordinates for it. That's all you need. That's all the only reason why you import it into the map. You actually don't even have to save the map uh, with this in it. So um, in this case, we're going to just use it as is. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our XML file. First of all, obviously, go um, the farming simulator directory. Go to your save game 5. Open the... Um, the items XML and find the brewery in there. There will be a placeable for it. Uh, no, I don't want to update it now. You can see I've been away for a bit. <laughs> Everything wants to update when you've gone away, you know. There it is, uh, brewery placeable. Now this thing, um, the only thing you want is that first line. That thing that says item. Well, I'm going to grab the whole lot between the items so what you can do is you can click on the item and it will show you the end of it so grab that whole thing there like so sorry that's not the whole thing there you go up to item like so control c copy and do select it here on the side guys uh, you can do it there also but sometimes you make a mistake there you're going to regret it later on it's going to give you errors all right and then we're going into our map our actual map the wild we open our xml for items in there default items and we're going to go create a new line press home press control v place that item in there now now you've got the whole thing set up for you here and then um, the next thing to do is get rid of all the junk the class name you want the id you don't need the mod name you definitely need guys the file name you definitely need it's in the mod directory it points to the xml inside the zip file so this names you don't change of the, the actual mod the position you keep the rotation you keep the age and price you can delete that we don't use so get it there Farm ID you leave, bought with farm, that just doesn't matter. Alright, so there you go. That's all you need to do, guys, in your, in your default items. So once you've done all that, we're going to go back into our map, because now we want to get this position data. So make sure you click on the, the factory or the brewery. Click there, Control shift and c to copy all three. Go back to your XML. Go to your position and you just paste that position in there by selecting all of that and press Control and V. Make sure that you don't overwrite stuff you do, like this little um, inverted commas. They must always be there. So when you when you do a paste, make sure that it's there. We know that the, the uh, rotation was zero, so we can leave that exactly as it is because the rotation here is zero, so that's fine. And then you can close your map. Don't save the map because you're not going to uh, be wanting that in there. Uh, and once you're done, like so, you can save the XML. Now you'll notice that I have got my um, my um, actual map in the mods folder unzipped. You can work with it unzipped, and it actually does save you a lot of hassle with zipping unzipping and then once you've done everything and it works you can zip your map again um, in in this case um, we, we're not going to really work anymore in the map the rest is only xml work good just another pointer guys um, this full level you can zero that um, just to be um, sure of all that and then this also you can zero that just to make sure that it's there um, make it my 0, 0.0 just to be on the safe side if there's any other things that we don't know and then save your XML and now we're ready to go back in game and just test to see if there's any errors or whatever so we should open our map now and should we should find our factory now there in the bushes so let's see if that is true right guys here we are in game um, 
tip guys always start a new save especially when you've added new stuff to your game <laughs> i don't know how many times um, i've seen that you have problems if you don't start a new save especially when you've changed something in the actual map you know so just start a new save test it and see that it works there so we're gonna find uh, the wild continue there continue there oh let me just get rid of some of this stuff make sure you have the brewery now selected because you want that mod because otherwise it's going to tell you it can't find the mod you obviously need the global company for that i want the controls uh, easy development and i also want the store deliveries because that is obviously what we want and now you can bring up your log error log and just check and there it is now you can see um, it's loaded the brewery and if there was any problem loading the brewery you will have immediately underneath that an error saying error this and that and this and that so it looks like it's working fine so here we go let's just close the log welcome to the wild guys one of my maps as i said i will jump um, trot you a nice little link for the download um what do i want to do first of all just want to add some bugs as i said earlier absolutely nothing works without bugs okay here we go now next thing we want to just quickly do some sculpting there uh, oh I don't even know if it's loaded let's first go there where we've placed it oh yes beautiful I just want to quickly do some painting here because um, because uh, X sorry is change grass is tab to go to grass here we go and see i think no just a lift button i just want to uh, clear a bit of space here so we can see i forgot to um clear the space in the map because i don't want to change my map <laughs> well, this is just an and an sort of an example guys so so here we go that should be all right um, let's go visit that uh, we should have it on our map now um, humble beginnings there it is let's visit the brewery and now at least we can see what's going on because if the bushes was there you're not going to be able to see all right so let's purchase a tractor and a trailer obviously uh, doesn't matter which one oh i've done it again guys must set my uh my shop delivery to here shift alt s places it here and then we can buy our tractor okay and obviously our trailer again you know the draw guys so this is just testing it to see if it's actually working in our map all right i'm anxious to see if it works I don't know if you are, but yeah, it should, it should work because if there's no errors, you can press Ctrl G, as I said earlier on, and have a look of, select the, the mod and have a look if there's any errors here, then you know there's going to be a problem with it. Um, but in our case, it's all good. So here we come to our brewery with an empty trailer, which is going to be sorted out in a second. So we're going to drop in some wheat there we go wheat should be fine and the moment you see the eye at the bottom for wheat start overloading you know everything is perfect and you empty it in and you should see a pallet appearing there on the spawn the pallet spawn any moment now there you go so guys that is how easy and simple it is to add a mod into your map and this is the legal way of doing it Remember now, we haven't actually placed the mod in our map. We've just pulled it in via our XML. So the only thing we've done is we've added one line to the XML uh, from our save uh, um, items in the save game that we've created. We've extracted that one, one, it wasn't one line, a few lines, but one pertaining to this mod. And then that, all of that together, um, just that one thing that's all you need in your xml the your default items and obviously you need the actual zip mod in your mods folder so uh, the one that you've placed in your map um, 
that one there I want to go there quick mods uh, the wild maps that team folder I've placed that team folder there that you can delete because we're not using that it was just to to get the the coordinates for it so there you go guys I hope this has helped a bit and um, if you want that mod to be bought with farmland you just make this false it true and then what happens is where you've placed it the farmland where it is on when you buy that farmland you will also get the mod or, or the actual factory so um, that is it guys easy as buy great so uh, guys if you like the video please hit the bell hit the like and do subscribe and uh, also do share i really appreciate have a wonderful day guys and uh, if there's any comments i always like reading the comments and thank you guys for watching i'll catch you next time cheers